Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to look at make it word from string one, and this is the Java solution. I'm going to do three different versions of this to highlight the idea of overloading and a really subtle idea if you decide to use the char at method. All right, given an out string length four, such as this, and a word, return a new string where the word is in the middle of the out string. So, e.g., you get that's the result. And it has a little note here about substring because this is what this problem is about. It's understanding how to use substring. And we can look at this example. And what we notice is essentially we take the first, we have to take the first two characters of the string out and then add the word and then add the last two characters. So to do this, I'm just going to return out.substring 0, 0,2 plus word plus out dot substring two comma four not three comma four two comma four and I hit go and it works again I want you to really highlight that idea that if you take the second parameter minus the first parameter of substring you will always get the resulting length so I know that this substring very quickly will result in a string of length two now I want to highlight that substring is what's called an overloaded method and what an overloaded method is, is it is a method that has the same name. So let's write this. Overloaded methods have the same name, but different parameters. So by having different parameters, it knows, Java knows which one to invoke. And it turns out that substring is overloaded. So you have two versions of substring. You have substring that takes two parameters, and then you have substring that takes a single parameter. And when it takes a single parameter, what substring does is take, takes, takes the, the substring from index, whatever you're passing it to, to the end of the string. So this will grab all of the letters from index two to the end of the string. And I hit go, and it works. Okay, so solution three is an interesting one. And the reason why I'm showing it to you is because students will often do this and get it wrong. And, and then I'll, I'll show them this little trick and they'll understand why. So I'm just going to pause it for a second and write my solution in. Okay, so what students will often do is instead of using substring, they'll use this char at function, which is perfectly valid. And then the hook go, and it's wrong. But you look at this and you think it should work. I'm getting the first character, the second character, the word, the third character, the fourth character. And then I look at my solution and I get, okay, the end's right, the word's right, but I get numbers. So here is what's happening. Because Java evaluates from left to right, what it does is it grabs this character. And remember, characters are actually stored as integer values because every character is mapped to a specific integer value. So right now, when this is evaluating, it says, OK, I just want a character. All right, let's generate that integer value. And then it says, oh, you, OK, you want that? OK, let's generate that integer value. And then it adds those two integer values together. And I get 120. And then it kicks word and it says, oh, that's a string. So I'm going to make this a string now. So that's why you get 120, yeah. And then it grabs the closing brace and the closing brace. So the reason why this doesn't work is because until it sees a string, it doesn't know to make it a string. And how you solve this problem is simply by putting an empty string in front of it. So if you put an empty string in front of it, what happens is you get an empty string and Java says, oh, this is going to be a string. So then it says, okay, what's the rule when I add a character and a string as well? Like, just take the character as it is and problem solved. This will kind of pop up from time to time. And, I, you know, often when I'm working with students is they'll, they'll be working with characters and they'll try and return a string and they'll get that numerical value. And that, that's a clue that what's happening is that character is, for whatever reason, being stored as the integer or being represented as the integer value. I hope that helps. Um, have a wonderful day.